Hey, welcome back to the Schmitty 750 YouTube channel. Today, we're going to get rid of the factory skid plate that's on this Kawasaki mule. And we'll be replacing it with some aluminum diamond plate, just some, some scrap that I've got left over for some other projects. So as you can see, this skid plate, there's little pieces hanging down where, where I've hung it up on stuff. And, and it's just like a little cheap plastic skid plate. As far as what I've seen online, it's the skid plates are really, really expensive. And there's not a whole lot to choose from. So we're just going to build our own. And uh, we use the plasma cutter and just kind of lay these old skid plates on top. And uh, get the right shape, figure out where our bolt holes need to be. Uh, and get everything cut out.
All right, so now I got these drilled out. I need to drill them out just a little bit bigger so that this can fit in there and then have a little bit of wiggle room. I guess the only reason, I was thinking about putting washers instead of using these, but I guess the only reason these are there is so that the, the head of the screw is kind of countersunk in there. And if you skid over some rocks, it just tears this up and doesn't rip off the head of the screw. So that'll work. the final product for the skid plates. Thanks for watching the Schmitty 750 YouTube channel. Bye.